I'm waiting. Praise the Lord and good evening, everyone. This is Bishop Horace Michael, pastor of the Beulah Tabernacle Church, and we welcome you tonight to our coming together for intercessory prayer. We know that the Lord is our God. He is great and greatly to be praised. And on this night, not only is it the night that's been scheduled for our mm -hmm. monthly intercessory prayer, it is also a night that focuses on our consecration for 2022. The focus of our consecration is purpose. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 in the amplified version of the scripture says, for I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. During this six day period of consecration, fasting and prayer, it is our desire to guide you into a deeper understanding of God's purpose, to allow your hearts and minds to be open to God speaking to you, to better know and understand your purpose, to allow yourself to grow in your purpose, and to be encouraged to go forth in the fulfillment of your purpose. Monday and Tuesday, we focused on to know my purpose. And Tuesday night, we had our first night of consecration prayer. Wednesday and Thursday, the prayer focus, and the focus was to grow in my purpose. And that is based on 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. And that will be our prayer focus for tonight. In addition to the issues of great need that will be shared through the prayer requests that we will take time to receive, as well as what many of you already know, as a war situation with Russia invading the Ukraine and how it has a ripple effect across the globe and also how it also speaks to the urgent need to be rapture ready for who knows where this offensive will go. Who knows how broad it will expand itself even with the possible threat of nuclear war. The devil is a liar and we shall not fear, but we must understand divine timing. I did not know what was going to be going on this week when the Lord put it in my spirit to call us to our consecration. I waited on God's direction. I waited on God's voice. I didn't move to try to fill a time slot, but I allowed myself to listen and be attentive to the voice and the direction of God. And so it is no coincidence that we are in this place tonight, dealing with our consecration, dealing with our fourth Friday intercessory prayer, and also dealing with war in uh, uh, between the Ukraine and Russia. God has called us to a time of focusing on him and to hear his voice. So tonight, beloved, I will share the scripture, which is our focus, and we will go into the focus and then our request, and we will go into prayer. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 through 10. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life 
and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. We align our hearts tonight in the understanding that tests and trials are a part of the process. Growing in anything is a process and purpose is no different. And so tonight, as we prepare our hearts and minds to go before the Lord in prayer, it is important that we understand that tests and trials are a part of the process of growth. And as we grow in our purpose, let us not be discouraged by the test or the trials. Let us not be intimidated by the test and the trials. Let us not turn back and go away from these tests and trials, for they come to develop us. It's a part of the process. And God is at work in you, glory to God, growing you in purpose, taking you deeper, taking you higher. And so grow, grow, grow. The process leads to growth. And so before we go any further and begin into the prayer, I'm going to invite you to unmute your line. If you are on this call with a phone, I believe the mechanism to unmute and Sister Michelle can correct me if I've made a mistake is star six. You can unmute yourself if you are on a phone by pressing star six. Everyone else that's in the chat or on the line, you can unmute yourself and share your prayer requests before we go before the Lord. The line is now open for prayer requests. Who shall be the first? Praise the Lord, Bishop. Yes. I'm asking for prayer for my Aunt Mabel Marbury. She has to go for a procedure Monday um, to find out why the water is building up in her body. They took all the other tests, the x-ray. I mean, the blood work, her sugar, everything is okay. And, but she has to have a procedure mon Monday. And um, asking the Lord to find out, let the doctors find out where this water is coming from. And also my niece, her name is Joy Pearl. She's pregnant and she, um, for some reason, some spirit's working on her mind, like, you know, and um, I'm asking the Lord to heal her mind and, and continue, like I told, just call on the name of Jesus for her healing when she's pregnant. And um, also for my daughter, Tashima, um, to bring her back into the house of the Lord in Jesus' name and for my whole family. Thank you. Amen. Who shall be next? Amen. Praise the Lord, Bishop. This is Ann. Praise the Lord, Bishop. This Praise is Ann. Lord, um, I just need prayer for uh, my whole family. Of course, we know we're going to pray for Ukraine. 
mm -hmm. um, and Russia. But um, I definitely want to pray for the ones that's unsaved in my family. And also, I want to pray for my my husband um, who has an addiction. I'm asking God to take it away from him. Um, but we do need prayer in this time. We all, we all want our family saved. But I'm just praying yes. for that. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. Thank you for sharing that. Who shall be next with a request? Praise the Lord, Bishop. This is Sister Davis. Yes. I am requesting prayer for my family for salvation for the unsaved ones and for peace in my family. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you, Sister Davis. Who's next? Praise the Lord, Bishop. This is Sister Tinley. We're asking for prayer for the Tinley family. Yes. Of the Tinley men. Check mm -hmm. Amaleseta. Oh mm -hmm. God, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we're asking yes. for prayer for continued prayer for Donna Caldwell, that the Lord will heal her completely and save her soul before it's everlasting too late. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for Deborah Harrison, that the Lord will encourage her and comfort her heart and strengthen her in the name of Jesus. We're praying for all the women, for myself, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Oh, my God, I feel the Holy Spirit already on the line. Who shall be next? Praise the Lord. Good evening, everybody. This is Lynette Alexander. Sister Lynette, sorry. How are you? Amen, um, amen. Um, anyway, of course, I, I'm going to pray for Ukraine and, and for the citizens over there. They're very, very sad about the war. Yes. And also for myself, I, I'm wondering... I, I'm seeking God to find out if He wants me to, if He wants me to, uh, to send the applications for the apartments because I filled out the applications already. But I wonder if He wants me to send them. Even though I want to move, I want to mm -hmm. know like, if it's God's will for me to send them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though I want to move in Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes, yes, Amen. God bless you, Sister Alexander. We have time for another few requests. Who else has Praise a request? The Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Bless your mother T. I'm requesting prayer for my family, all my children, grandchildren, their father, my husband, myself, for the entire family. Amen. Amen. God bless your mother. My mama. Like I said, I'm feeling the Holy Spirit on the line. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Who's next, please? Um, this is Sister Jones. I'm yes. praying for my family that um that God will be that God will do a move in their life in each and every one of their life and that um that even through this fast that God will perform a miracle and that we would see signs and wonders and that God would just have his way in our lives. Glory, glory. Shanda. Woo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Who's Lord, next? Bishop. Yes. This is Sister Denise. Yes. I just want us to all pray for the United Women's Ministry. Mm -hmm. All of the women of Beulah Tabernacle, those that are active and those that are inactive, that the Lord will restore them, get them back on track, get us all on track so that we're ready to meet the Lord in the air on that faithful day when we get to see the Lord face to face. Mm -hmm. And that is for Sister Cece, Sister Michelle Tewitt, Sister Dakisha Hemans, Sister Deborah Harrison, Sister Carla Lowry, Sister Sharice Jones, mm -hmm. Sister Bernadette Tinley, Sister mm -hmm. Claudia Coombs, Sister Sister Diane mm -hmm. Morris, mm -hmm. calling mm -hmm. them all out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sister Yulette Davis, mm -hmm. Mother Audrey Thompson, Sister mm -hmm. Sandra McCullum. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sister mm -hmm. Deborah Harrison, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Sister Jeanette Calhoun, Sister Jeanette yes. Johnson, in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. 
myself, Sister Denise Sutton, in the name of Jesus, and that our entire households are filled with the Holy Ghost, that Mm -hmm. we shall all meet Jesus in the air when it's time Mm -hmm. to lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and let us walk this race, walk ahead, walk this race, walk it out in the name of Jesus, for he's coming back soon without spot or wrinkle. He wants us, and we must be prepared to meet him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And watch over Lady Michael. Keep Mm -hmm. keep Lady Michael on the altar Mm -hmm. as she Mm -hmm. goes forward in her studies. Mm -hmm. Keep her, Lord God, Mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, that he will Mm -hmm. do a mighty work. Hallelujah. In her and through her, that more women, more women, young people shall be saved and set free Mm -hmm. through the work she is doing in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I want to also, I cannot forget Sister Michelle Hobby in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. May the Lord touch her and keep her. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' Mm -hmm. name. My God, my God. Amen. Anyone else has a prayer request? We have another few minutes to go. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Mother Sandra Jones of Beulah. God bless you all. I I tuned in a little late. I'm not sure if anyone had given the request for the Ukraine slash Russian crises. Yes. But we're going to ask you to please pray. Pray. Mm-hmm. We know prayer makes a difference in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. We serve a supernatural God that can do anything. <laughs> Not only for Minister Zerahiah Jones, but for all of the armed forces in the name of Jesus, that he might cover under his blood and those that have been houses that have been bombed. Praise God. There's a saint, praise God, that had to leave. Her whole house was bombed and she went to Turkey to stay with her sister, her and her family, but she saved. Praise God. So let's pray for that situation. There is mm. nothing too hard for God in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Mm. Yes, yes. God bless you, Mother Jones. Someone else with a request. Over there in Ukraine. Ukraine. Yes. Yes, yes. Amen. God bless you. Hi, this is Kian. I am asking for her for my immediate family and for yes. my baby, the four-month-old. Um, he has a cold, so I'm just asking everyone to pray for um, his healing. Yes, yes, the Lord is able. Mm. The Lord is able. The Lord is able. God bless you, dear. Mm-hmm. Any anyone else? Anyone else? Let us continue to pray for Bishop Joseph and Mother Joseph. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. This is Sister Tony again. We just want to pray for the Brooklyn Diocese, Mm -hmm. the entire Brooklyn Diocese, that the Lord put us on one accord in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Praise this is Jeanette again. I want a prayer request, please, if you don't mind. Yes, yes, sure. Please pray for. Okay, I was afraid to say it, but I'm not afraid anymore. Please pray for Bishop C. Horace Mike. I'm sorry, for Bishop Horace C. Michael, because he needs prayer too. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, he needs prayer too, mm-hmm. Bishop. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tayarabo Shanda. Hey, Katayarabo Shah. Glory to God. God bless you. We thank you, one and all, for these powerful requests. And because we want to spend time in the presence of God tonight, and we also have a word of inspiration coming forth at this time, I'm going to invite everyone to please mute yourselves. And although your phones and devices are muted, please do not let your mouth be muted. Let not your hearts be muted. There will come a time when I'll ask you to unmute so that your voices can be mingled one with another and the voice of Zion on this line can be heard in unity. At this time, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we bless your name tonight, and we thank you for the riches of your grace, 
that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for grace and peace. Being multiplied unto us, even through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you tonight for the blessed gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that our sins have been forgiven. Thank you that there's no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Thank you tonight that there is blessings upon our lives for you daily load us with the blessings. We praise you for your wonderful works, for your divine purposes being worked in our lives. Thank you, Lord, that we are saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves. It is a gift from you and not of works, least any man should boast, and that we are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works that you hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Tonight, Lord God, we come with intercession on our hearts. We come, Lord God, yielding ourselves bowed before you with the spirit of revelation and the wisdom and knowledge, O oh God, that we seek from you. We lift up the prayers tonight of Dr. Marbury, Lord God, and together we touch and agree that you will intercede on behalf of her Aunt Mabel having a procedure on Monday. Lord God, they want to find out what's going on in her body, but we know that you're a God that's working on it. Shanda, you've already got the answer. They need to find it. Shanda, but you already know what's going on, Lord God. God, help the doctors to get to the source. But Lord God, we stand in agreement that you're able to touch Mother Mabel Marbury's body and you're able to bring a healing by the power of your word. You sent your word and healed in scripture and even your word has gone forth prophetically out of your mouth and it's not coming back without getting the job done. And so tonight we stand in agreement with Dr. Marbury, even for Joy Pearl, her niece that's pregnant, Lord God. And we're asking that you will touch her mind, even as the request was given. You know right now, he that is a heart fixer and a mind regulator who makes a way out of no way. We call Pearl, Joy Pearl's name out to you, Lord. Not just me, Lord God, but the multitude of intercessors on this line. We join in agreement with Dr. Marbury, even on behalf of her daughter, Tashima, we're asking, Lord God, that you would have your way in her life. Bring her back into your house, Lord God. We're not just talking about a building. We're talking about the body of Christ, Lord God. Do a work in her, hey, a work that's a wonder working wonder. A work in the inside, hey, working on the heart working on the mind, working on the soul, giving an appetite for you, for they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. And so we speak this over to Shema now, Lord God, even for Anne, we pray for her whole family, Lord God, and believe you right now, oh God, for a house blessing. Lord God, we know your reach and capability exceeds what we can ask or think. According to the power that worketh in us. And so we ask, Lord God, for divine intervention for the unsaved members of her home and even for her husband, Lord, who's dealing with an addiction. My God. God, we know that the Lion of Judah can break every chain and bring to us the victory again and again. And tonight, Lord, we praise you in advance for her husband's deliverance. Mighty God, mighty God, we declare the mighty God is on the line. The mighty God is on the line. And we believe right now, 
oh God, that your mercy would reach out to touch his heart. Your mercy would reach out and bring him to the place where he needs to be in you and deliver him as only you can. Lord God, tonight, even according to the request that's been made, even not just by Anne, but even Mother Jones and so many others tonight, Lord God, we lift up Ukraine to you. Hey, God, but not only Ukraine, but also Russia. Lord God, where there is anger and there's malice and there's greed and there's hatred. Oh God, we come against the spirit of destruction and we ask for divine intervention and protection. Lord God, people have lost their lives already. Others will lose their lives in this, Lord, but we ask you a mercy right now. Oh, God, it's not too late for a miracle. Lord God, it's not too late for you to touch the mind of Putin and calls him to call off the onslaught and to cease the attack. Lord, it's not too late. Lord, you can do what NATO can't do. You can do what the United States government cannot do. My God, all you need to do is to speak it, to think it, Lord God, and it will be done. And so, Lord God, we pray for those hearts and those minds, those families that have lost loved ones, those people that have lost property and homes, people that are wounded and bruised and battered already, Lord, have mercy on them. Stretch forth your hand even to Ukraine and Russia. Lord God, let peace prevail. Turn it around as only you can, Lord God. And even as we consider this as a part of an eschatological movement, as we consider this even as a last day's thing. Oh God, help us to understand our desperate need to be rapture ready. Let us read and heed, read and heed the signs. Lord God, you don't give us signs for nothing. Lord, you don't give us signs for us to ignore. The signs are on the road to give direction. The signs are on the road to warn of danger. Those signs are on the road to let us know that we're getting closer to our destination. And there, even as we read the signs and heed the signs, we declare that our salvation is closer than when we first began. Lord God, we come again to family needs with junior missionary Davis, and we lift up her family to you. Lord God, tonight we are touching and agreeing with no holes barred. We're not holding back. We are believing you for our family salvation. Hey, God, not just one of us, not just one of them, not just a few of them, but Lord God, we take the posture of Joshua and declare boldly and speak it over ourselves and our house. We say, as for me and my house, Lord God, this is the prayer right now. Now. It's a me and my house prayer. Look on them now, the Davis household, and bring peace and deliverance into that house. Lord, we keep on praying for families and we join with Tanarabo Shanda, with senior missionary Tinley tonight, as we lift up the Tinley men before you. Lord God, you know just what's needed. We are grateful that we can come together and share the request and know that when we touch and agree, it's about Tanarabo Shanda. It's about to get heavy here. It's about to get on. Fire's about to fall. Power's about to be released. Changes about to come. Chains are about to be broken. Yokes are about to be destroyed. My God, because there's an anointing on this line right now. Oh God, oh God, look upon Donna Cardwell, Lord. We're standing in the gap and believing for her healing, but not only healing for the body, but salvation for the soul. Oh, mighty God. Donna Caldwell needs you. Lord God, she needs your touch. She needs Jehovah Rophe. She needs Jehovah salvation. She needs Jesus. Jesus. Hey, we call her the name of healing. We call her the name of deliverance. We call her the name of salvation. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And so tonight, Lord God, we stand in a 
agreement, even as missionary Tinley called out Sister Deborah Harrison's name. Oh God, we ask for you to step in right now to bring comfort and strength to her in her situation. Lord God, you're a God that can touch a body. You're a God that can heal a body. You're a God that can deliver a body. You're a God that can do it for anybody. Woo! The anybody and the everybody God. And so tonight as we stand in agreement with Sister Missionary Tinley and her prayer request, Lord God, we lift up the women of Beulah Tabernacle before you. Lord God, you know them name by name. You know them situation by situation. You know them need by need. And we stand in agreement now that you are the God that will supply all their need. Whatever the need is, Lord God, open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon them, young women and old women, as you declare through Joseph well that you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh Lord God day the women of the tabernacle the anointed set upon women the anointed God called women the anointed God used women Lord God we lift up the women of BT before you and believe you right now that great things are about to happen big things Woo! Lord God, I feel a big thing, Spirit. I feel a big thing move. Hey, God, move in their direction. Move on their behalf. Move according to their intercessions. Move according to their cries by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, we agree with Sister Lynette Alexander tonight. Yes, lifting up the people in Ukraine. <coughs> Lifting up the people who are part of this conflict and crisis. Lord God, we know that your arms are not too short. Your ear is not too heavy. But God, not only do we ask that you will lift them up, but Lord God, she herself is seeking your direction. She herself is seeking your lead. Lord God, for a new place to live. And you're a God that can lead us and guide us. You told us through the wisdom wisdom of your word, that in all of our ways, we ought to acknowledge you and that you would direct our path. Trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and lean not to our own understanding. Lord God, you told us to trust you even when we cannot trace you, even when we cannot figure it out, even when we don't understand it, even as we're looking through a glass darkly. Woo! Lord God, they that trust in you will be as Mount Zion that cannot be removed. And so, Lord God, I thank you. She's anchored in you and she's leading, going by your direction. We're anchored tonight. Lord God, I praise you. Hallelujah. I feel a call and a need to call for being anchored. The winds are blowing. The vicissitudes, the changes are upon us. We're in the midst of, of swift transition. My God, my God. But the Holy Ghost is anchoring you right now. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I pause to, Shanda to tell somebody, hang on in there. Hey, 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 Lord, I bless your name right now. Mother T is on the line. She shared a request, Lord God, for her family and for all of her children and her grands. She asked, Lord God, that we stand in agreement for her husband and herself. And so, Father, the God that moves in families, ha, you did it with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, God, you did it with Timothy. Lord God, you did it even for Cornelius and his whole house. Lord God, you did it over and over and over again. You did it, Lord God, through the line of David. You did it, Lord God, through the line of Aaron. Lord God, you did it even in a most powerful, mysterious way, in a unique way, Lord God, through Melchizedek. My God, you can do what you want to do. Do it. Reshan 
Lord. Do it, Lord. You did it through Mary and Joseph. Lord God, you aligned them up to be able to be used by you. Lord God, I praise you right now that there's somebody on this line who's willing to line up with your will, willing to line up with your purpose, willing to line up with Shanda, with whatever you say. Tonight we say, Lord, have your way. Have your way in our homes. Have your way in our minds. Have your way in our jobs. Have your way in our occupation. Have your way in our educational pursuits. Lord God, we join in with missionary Sharice Jones believing you right now. Oh God, you are a God of families. Hallelujah. Look over her family. Move in their lives. Use them in the name of Jesus. And even through this fast, we are believing you with her. Hey, child, that you would stretch forth your hand to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. You are the God of miracles, signs, and wonders. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. And there's nothing that's impossible with you. And because of all of this, we are standing here only because you made a way. Lord, we praise you for the way made. We praise you for a new way being made. Lord God, right now, have your way in their lives. Lord God, this is a mother crying out for her children. This is a sister crying out for her siblings. Ah, God, in the name of Jesus, this is an auntie crying out for her nieces and nephews. Lord God, you know right now, and we stand in agreement because there is no secret what you can do, what you've done for others. You can do the same for her. And Lord God, even now, we stand in agreement with Sister Denise Sutton, who has lifted it up the United Women's Ministry of Beulah Tabernacle. Lord God, she's lifted them up name by name. Lord God, state by state, uh, condition by condition, uh, status by status. Uh, and we know that you are a God who's able to answer prayer beyond what we can even ask or think. Those that are active, those that are not, we are asking Lord for your mercy to restore backsliders, huh? to strengthen those that have made a commitment eh, and are holding fast to the profession of their faith. Lord God, she asked specifically that they would be on track Lord God, whatever might have derailed some, we're asking you, Lord God, to restore. Whatever might have discouraged some, we're asking you to strengthen and encourage. What may have distracted some, we're asking you to give them a focus back towards you. Get them all on track to be rapture ready. Lord God, we're standing in agreement. Yea, Lord, even for the household salvation. My God, my God. Families left and families to the right. Families that are near and families that are far. Lord, we lift our hands to you tonight in worship and in praise. Lord God, we don't just come with a petition. We come with a praise. And even now, we are standing in agreement that you will watch over Lady Michael. Lord God, your angels are watching over her right now to bring her to the graduation mark. Lord God, I thank you. She's in the home stretch, and we believe to see her crossing the finish line. Now, let your keeping power undergird her in the home stretch. Woo! I feel a home stretch praise huh, coming over me right now. Lord God, your people huh, have been in the press. Huh. Teach us to praise you in the home stretch. Huh. Lord God, your people have been holding on through. Lord God, even this pandemic. Huh. Lord, teach us how to hold on. 
in the home stretch. Lord God, I bless you right now that you're blessing Lady Michael. And we thank you in advance, not only for what she's going to accomplish for her, but what she's going to accomplish for you through the power that you pour on her to sustain her through this trial, to sustain her through this venture, to sustain her throughout this accomplishment of earning her doctoral degree, that you will use Use this knowledge uh, that you will breathe on it by the power of your spirit, that you will quicken it uh, with Holy Ghost power. Uh, take it beyond the textbook. Uh, take it beyond the written papers. Uh, but Lord, energize it uh, with your anointing and use Lady Michael to bring more women to the cross. Uh, bring more women to salvation. Uh, bring more women to victory. Uh, bring their Tayanabo Shanda. Daughters and mothers, huh? nieces and granddaughters, huh? Lord God, to a place huh? of supernatural deliverance huh? through the great work you're doing in her. Lord God, we know huh? that you are the God of all power and grace. Huh? And Lord God, we stand in agreement huh? even now with Shepherd Mother Sarge Jones, huh? this incredible matriarch huh? that we are blessed to have have with us uh, for her wisdom and for her grace, uh, for her power of prayer and her power of faith. Uh, Lord God, we stand in agreement uh, with the request that's come from her lips. Uh, that, yea, Lord, that you will work in the Ukraine, uh, Russian crisis, uh, knowing that our prayer makes a difference. Uh, yes, Lord, we don't get tired uh, of asking the God that told us to ask. Hallelujah. Closed mouths won't get fed and closed mouths won't pray prayers. You told us to ask and we shall receive whatsoever things we desire when we pray. Believe that we receive them and we shall have them. You told us to speak to the thing. Woo! Lord, and tonight, Lord, because the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much, we pray right now to you, our God of the supernatural, praying for our family members and those that we know that are in the military, praying that your hand of protection would be over them. Oh, God, people have lost so much already through this crisis. Lord, God, God, but you can bring this all to an end. Lord, you can bring this all to an end. Lord, you can bring this all to an end. But even in the midst of it, as it unfolds, Lord God, your protection, let it prevail. The arms of the Lord be the arms of protection. And let your name even be manifested on the battlefield. Let your name be called out in squadrons. Huh? Let your name be called out, Lord God, huh? in the places of decision making. Huh? Oh, God, yes, our country needs you. Huh? Lord God, our world needs you. Huh? And even we, your people, need you. Huh? And so, Lord God, even for the youngest of us, huh? we stand with Kyan tonight, huh? believing you for her family and even her four-month-old baby, huh? who needs a healing touch. Yes, Lord, from the oldest to the youngest, there is nothing too hard for you. From our most seasoned to our most junior, there's no secret what you can do. To those that are seasoned, to those that are just barely getting started, you are the God of divine protection. And so, Lord, touch this precious child. Turn Turn his situation around. Bring healing to the precious body and even do it in her family. Father, we thank you right now for Bishop Leroy Joseph and Mother Mary Joseph. And as we thank you for them, we ask for your divine intervention to touch Bishop Joseph and strengthen and heal him. Look on Mother Mary and strengthen her and sustain her. Her. 
Look upon the Joseph family right now. Look upon Melody. Look upon Robbie. Look upon the Refuge Far Rockaway family. Look upon Elder Rasan Staley. Look upon Sister Lauren Staley. Look upon the ministerial staff. Look upon the missionaries at the Sunday school and the youth leaders and the women's and men's ministry leaders. Oh God, we lift up Refuge Far Rockaway to you because Lord, their pastor is sick. But Lord God, you are God that can turn it around. You've touched Bishop Joseph time and time again. This man of faith, this man of prayer, this man of vision. And if you did it before, you can do it again. And so Lord, we lift him up. Hallelujah. We lift up refuge far rockaway. But not only them, we lift up refuge Green Avenue. Pastor Carlin Davis, Lady Valerie Davis. We lift up the congregation and the Davises. Lord God, Sister Veronica Wilson and the family. Oh God, this precious congregation, these beloved saints, you know the way that they take. And when they are tried, we declare it for them now that they shall come forth as pure gold. We know that there's no limit to you. And so we ask now for your divine mercy, even over Beulah Coney Island. Look upon Pastor Charles Council and Lady Jennifer Council. We lift them up to you, the council family and the entire congregation. Lord God, they are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Preserve and protect. Uh, increase the work. Uh, bless them in that community. There's been seeds sown there for generations. Uh, Lord God, do a work in that neighborhood. Uh, souls in Coney Island need deliverance. Uh, souls in Coney Island need a breakthrough. Uh, and we're asking that you would do it, Lord. Uh, do it there. Do it there. Do it there. Uh, there refuge for Rockaway. Uh, refuge Green Avenue. Uh, Beulah Coney Island, uh, but also Beulah Tabernacle. Oh, God, we lift you up now uh, and lift up BT. Uh, we want to be on one accord, the entire Brooklyn Diocese, uh, all churches, all pastors, uh, all leaders, all members. Uh, Lord God, united and under the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, doing a great work and building your kingdom, doing a great work in reaching souls of all ages, uh, doing a great work with, with, with signs following. Oh God, oh God, yes, Lord, we lift up all the churches. Uh, Lord, we ask your mercy upon Apostle James I. Clark and Mother Shirley Lorraine Clark. Uh, you know the need on that side of town. Oh God, Apostle Clark is our presider, and we lift up our leaders, Lord. We lift up Apostle Wilbur L. Jones before you, Lord. Hey, our father in the gospel, founder of this congregation. Lord God, we know there's nothing too hard for you. You blessed him to see another birthday just this week. And even in this season of his jubilee pastoral year, we believe for great things, great things. Great things, great things, great things, great things. I speak it over this line. I speak it over every person. I speak it over everybody. I speak it over them now as they go through the process of Eshanda, the process to grow in purpose. The process to grow, adding to their faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly kindness, and charity, understanding that we've got to put off the old man and put on the new. We got to change the outfit to change the outcome. We got to change the outfit huh, to change the outcome. Huh? Lord God, we don't want to lose a minute huh, on being built up by the Holy Ghost, huh, being built up in our purpose. Huh? And so we want to complement huh, our basic faith huh, with good character, spiritual understanding, alert discipline, passionate patience, reverential wonder, 
warm friendliness, generous love. Lord God, and as we grow through this process to be developed, we understand that every one of these virtues, every one of these qualities fit into one another as they begin to develop. Lord God, it's a matrix of power. It's a Holy Ghost conglomeration of the things that will cause us to be what we ought to be. Oh, God, we don't want to be what we want to be. We want to be what we ought to be. We want to be what we ought to be, knowing that in you, that growth is a process and every process happens when you when we yield ourselves to you that growth happens in places it happens in moments and in every place there's a purpose in every place in every moment there is a purpose we can decide in that place we can decide in that moment will we crawl and turn over shrivel up and die or will we trust you and stand on your word like never before we declare and decree this consecration is the place what? this is the place where we will trust you this is the place where we will hold fast to the profession of our faith this is the place where we will encourage one another that we'll understand it better by and by this is the place this is the moment this is the consecration that will turn our mourning into laughter and our sorrows into joy our fears into victories defeat into triumph. Oh God, oh God, we believe you for purpose. We yield ourselves to the process and thank you in advance for the growth. Do it in us, Lord. Do it through us, Lord. And even in this prayer tonight, we bring this prayer to a close before we hear your word of encouragement by lifting up our hands and giving you some glory, lifting up our hands and giving you some praise. And even right now, now, I'm going to invite those that are on the line to unmute yourself and allow your voices to be mingled, allow your voices to be heard. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it if you believe in God. I want you to unmute and let your voice be heard. I want you to believe in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Father, we bless your mighty name right now and thank you for this moment in your presence. Oh God, the fire is falling. The anointing is upon us. Yokes are being destroyed. Chains are being broken. We are standing in holy agreement and be believing to, to receive, believing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so, Lord God, we thank you for this moment in your presence. Thank you for these petitions and for this prayer. And even as we position ourselves to hear a word of encouragement tonight from missionary Cerise Jones, we pray your blessings upon your vessel. Use her in a mighty way to share a word, even in this brief moment, to bless your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you now and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Want to give Sister Cherise some time to share. She's only got a few minutes, but um, social missionary Cherise Jones, please come and share the word that God has put on your heart, the word of encouragement for the people in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians 2 and 20 says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Thank you, Jesus. Purpose. I ask that you all pray for me in Jesus' name. Purpose. Purpose. What is purpose? Purpose means it's the reason why something or someone is created or why they exist. Let's focus on that scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. As we look, look at those two scriptures, we see that God wants us to let go and let God. He wants us to forget about our desire, forget about what we want to do, but it's what he wants to do within us. God has loved us so much. He loves us so much that each and every one of us are printed in his handprint. Each one of our names are in the handprint of God. How special is that? It's so special that he has put a plan in each and every one of our lives. He says, it's not his desire 
that that we it's not his desire for us to be a disaster because he knows the plan that he has for us and it's not his his desire for us to be a disaster but that he gives us a future and hope how wonderful and great our god is that he has taken time to put a purpose in each and every one of us each of us have a different purpose what is your purpose today i want you to know that a change is coming a change is coming because god is opening up our eyes to see what our purpose is and what he has for each and every one of us to do today i would like to encourage you to keep holding on because your change is coming keep holding on don't be discouraged by what you see and the things that's happening all around you they, that's trying to be a distraction to you but god wants us to keep our focus and hold on god says a change is coming and if you believe it on tonight say a change is coming he has prepared a plan for each and every one of us. Let us walk into our purpose. He gave us the blueprint and he showed us how we're going to go walk, how we're going to know what our purpose is, how we're going to grow in our purpose and how we're going to go forth in our purpose. So I encourage you today, hold on hold on don't let go hold on because a change is coming walk into your purpose in jesus name amen my god my god god bless you missionary jones thank you for sharing that powerful word my god it didn't take long for that fire to fall thank god for that encouraging word I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Keep your focus and hold on because Missionary Jones said, a change is coming. I'm going to ask you, those of you that are on the line right now, to open your mouth and declare this. You cannot have what you won't confess. <clears throat> you cannot have it if you will not confess it. If you can speak it, then you can have it. By faith in the name of Jesus, if you can see it, because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you can see it by faith, you can have it. You cannot have what you will not say, and you cannot have what you will not see. You've got to believe God and speak those things that are not as though they were. You've got to believe God to see the invisible, to feel the intangible, to do the impossible. Let's believe and receive it. God will perform it today in the name of Jesus Christ. And so as we come to the close of this prayer tonight, I want to encourage you to join us on tomorrow at 7 p.m. to 8 on this same line for our final consecration prayer. Tomorrow is the last day of our consecration, but everyone is invited to join us. Our focus scriptures is Philippians chapter two, verses 12 through 13. That's Philippians chapter two, verses 12 through 13, and second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven again our focus verses for tomorrow as it was for today is philippians 2 verses 12 through 13 and second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 these two days our prayer and meditation focus is to go forth in my purpose to go forth in my purpose 
I pray that the Lord will bless you, that the Lord will keep you, that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, that the Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit in Jesus' name. And I'm going to ask you to feel free to unmute. We're going to praise our way out of this prayer service. We're going to give God some praise tonight in the name of Jesus. And you that are on the line with us still, if you believe God that those prayers that we prayed were answered, I'm going to give you another opportunity to just give God some praise. Let's let the voice of Zion be heard. We have prayed. We have heard the word of encouragement. We are on fire. It's a consecration. I'm a consecration. And my God, by the time this is over, we're not going to be the same. I need you to praise God for the change that's coming. Oh, we're not going to be the same. Missionary Jones has declared it out of her mouth that a change is coming. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, from Thank Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank <laughs> Thank you, 